Hello there Wastecasters, sorry I haven't done a video in ages, just been really shit and bored and tired all the time. I've got massive swellings under my armpits and I've been for a blood test, I might have some kind of um, lymphatic disease maybe, um, but unfortunately the doctor forgot to check the immunoglobin or decided to opt to not check immunoglobin on my blood test, so um, uh, for some reason that's been omitted. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know whether that's good or bad, but it doesn't seem very good to me. I'll ask and find out tomorrow in my ward round on Highwoods Ward here in Colchester. My phone's broken, which is nice. I don't know what happened to it. I bought um, a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge um, a few months ago when I was in hospital and it does call recording. It runs Android 7 and most of the call recording apps don't work. If you try and download the call recording apps on a new phone, they don't work, but this one does. Um, um, God, it looks shit if you don't look at the camera, doesn't it? If your eyes go the wrong way. Um, um, so yeah, that's just been bricked basically. Posted a picture of it on Twitter. Uh, got one like, which I was happy about. It's kind of the only reason I haven't really done very many of these videos is just because um, no one really watches them except for me. Um, but I've got an S20 now that I ordered. Um, doesn't support core recording, but it does have a 4K front facing camera, which I'm going to be using for these videos from now on. Um, have a little look through current affairs. I'm going to try and keep this video short. Um, let's have a look. Scientists investigate the mysterious gravity hole in the Indian Ocean. I'm not interested in that. Uh, the Guardian two days ago are arguing that in the morning they are comatosed on the sands, a Cornish village fighting back against private something or other. Don't care about that. Astronomers scan the skies for nanosecond pulses of light from interstellar civilizations. Now that's quite interesting. That's the kind of thing that I like looking at. Um, that's Universe Today two days ago. Very interesting indeed. I will have to read that one before I go to sleep. Racism is a stain on the NHS for staff and patients, says psychiatry chief. Well, that's probably true. Um, yeah, racism's not good ever. I don't like racist people. Architect Norman Foster, Norman Foster. I suppose in another life it would have been exciting to fly fighters. Yes, well. Maybe you'll have another life, Norman Foster, in The Guardian one day ago. He looks like a nice man. Norman Foster, look at him go. Um, that's 2 minutes 54, and I don't know how long this is going to take to upload. So, um, not going to read any more bullshit. But yeah, I've got to go for tests at the hospital and register with the GP, because I've got these massive swollen lymph nodes the size of ping pong balls, and I'm tired all the time. And... Um, I've got sort of really stiff, aching joints and um, really bad digestive tract. And that's making me feel quite scared and sad and tired. Had a chat with my solicitor, sorry, my criminal lawyer today. Well, actually I didn't. He was away on leave. I spoke with another lady at the lawyer's firm um, regarding Lily Allen prosecuting me under Section 4A of the Protection from Harassment Act. Um, I've never wanted to try and harass her. I've only ever wanted to try and support her um, and stick up for her um, and myself and some other people, but um, they said that I'm not capacitous to conduct a police interview at the moment. So they, were, they sent the police to the ward a few weeks ago, gave me back my phones, the one that's now just broken somehow. Um, it's bricked, which means that the Android software has been reset on it. You have to get it reflashed. Um, I've started doing it using Odin on my computer, but I don't really know what I'm doing and like um, it didn't work when I tried to do it, but I'll try again later. Um, anyway, um, they came to do, it, to do an interview and I started reading them a document about um, some sort of criminology reports that I've done myself and um, then he just sort of said that he had a phone call, left the interview and came back in and said, well, he was preparing me for the interview. It was a consultation, not an interview, but he explained to me that I was going to be, um, you know, given, I mean, read my rights and told I had the right to remain silent and interviewed under caution. Um, but then the interview didn't take place and now they're saying that I can't have the interview until I'm not on a section anymore. Um, and I think there's a bit of a conflict of interest between the people that are making the decision here at the hospital um, and um, the true nature of my capacity to make fair, reasonable, rational, proportionate 
and accurate judgments, but um, there's only one person that can decide that, and that's really my consultant psychiatrist, regardless of my opinion, so I'll have to be guided by them. But anyway, that's five minutes of your life you'll never get back. Hopefully I'm not gonna die of cancer. If I do, nobody will care, probably. <laughs> On the bright side, uh, look at my nasal hair. I'm gonna pull some of those out, just for the um, end of the video. There you go. That was um, revolting. Um, lots of love. Um, flowers, sunshine, rainbows, all the good things. Um, and um, and uh, I hope you had a, a shit day, whatever you're doing. And um, keep in touch, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and uh, maybe I'll make another one tomorrow. Cheers.